Hey guys, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today I'm gonna take some time and show you guys this Sea Sucker Talon One Bike Rack. Now it's super easy to install. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys right now and get a bike loaded. So we'll just set it in place on our roof. You can mount it to virtually any rooftop that you might have. Now before we get it installed, what I do want to point out is you want to get some water. I have some in a spray bottle right now. I want to moisten up our vacuum cups real quick. Set it in place, do the same for the back. Now from here, all we gotta do to get it installed is press down on each cup and just compress our pump cylinder right here. You can see that orange band right there. Once that orange band gets inside the housing, you know that it's fully secure. We'll do the same for the other cups. Now you can see it's really just that easy. To get this one bike rack installed, it eliminates having to get a hitch or a hitch mounted bike rack, especially for a vehicle like our Tesla, where that's not always an option. And sometimes you don't really want to throw a hitch or a roof rack on. This way we can get our bike loaded. Now keep in mind it is a fork mounted bike rack, meaning that we will have to remove our front tire, which isn't a huge deal. We can always just throw that into our vehicle. Get that done and then we'll secure our back tire. And just like that, you saw it probably took me about a minute, minute and a half to get all of this ready to go. And I'm ready to hop inside my car and then head off to the trails. Now, if you've never heard of Sea Sucker and you're just looking at this and you're thinking that it's not really that secure, you can see that our bike is, has a great hold on our roof and the bike rack is holding in place very well. Basically, all the racks use a system of vacuum cups to mount to the rooftop of your vehicle. Now, these vacuum cups are different from a standard suction cup that you might be thinking of with a vacuum cup that you see right here. We literally suck all the air out that's under our cup. So I can pull this up. Now there's a lot of air in there. It can move around. So when we first get it installed and you saw me compressing the cylinder, what this cylinder is doing is sucking all the air out from underneath, giving us a really airtight seal. With a suction cup, you just push down on it and try to push all the air out and that could leave bubbles. But with these vacuum cups, they're gonna be very strong and very secure. They each have a 210 pound pull strength rating, so you know it's got a great hold on our roof. Even I was skeptical at first, when I, but when I started working with more of Sea Sucker's products and testing them out, I got a lot more confidence in them. Now I think what's really going to set this bike rack apart from every other bike rack is that, one, it eliminates the need to get a roof rack on your car, and then have to get a bike rack on top of it, Personally, I don't like having roof racks on my car when they're not in use, so this is a great option for me. And it's also going to help out with not needing to have a hitch installed on your car and then having to get a hitch mounted bike rack to load up your bike. And especially with a car like our Tesla, you, pro you may not want to throw a hitch on there and ruin the clean look that the Tesla has. So this is a great option to just get a bike loaded up. It's easily removable and you can stow it in your vehicle. And the fork block is just gonna be your typical fork block with a nine millimeter quick release skewer. Works very easily. Just take that clamp off. You can see the forks come right up when you're installing it. Forks go down, clamp goes on. Very simple. Now included in your kit, you are gonna get this orange hook and loop strap to secure your pedals to your bike frame. That's to prevent the pedals from coming down and making contact with your roof. Go ahead and give you a look at it without the strap just to show you what the strap is actually doing. You can see right here, the pedal could swing down and make contact with our roof right there, or even our back pedal would basically be guaranteed to make contact with the roof at some point. So let's go ahead and get the strap off, get our pedals back to that point, and then take the strap and put it back on so that we don't run the risk of damaging our rooftop. Now this bike rack is gonna have a weight capacity of 45 pounds. Obviously you can see with our carbon fiber bike, we're not coming anywhere close to that. And with your carbon fiber bikes, this works out very well because there's no frame contacts. You don't have to worry about any smudges or scratches occurring on it. 
Now, one thing I do want to point out is that if you are planning on carrying a bike that's more up to about 40, 45 pounds, I would advise getting the Sea Sucker Talon mounted as close to the outside of your roof as possible, just because that's where the most support is going to come from with your rooftop, is towards the edge where the frame is right here. And with the Tesla in particular, what I would suggest if you own a Tesla and you're thinking about this roof rack, I would get the rear vacuum cup that holds your back wheel mounted onto the trunk. And that's just so that if you have a heavier bike, all that weight is concentrated into one area. So the trunk is going to be able to support it much better than the glass rooftop of your Tesla would. Up here with our fork block section, we don't have to worry about that because we have three different vacuum cups that are helping evenly distribute that weight across the surface. Now, as you can see right now, there is no type of theft deterrent on our bike as far as a cable lock or a lock up on our fork block uh, that does not come in your kit. However, there is an option to get a cable lock for this, but what you'll need to do is get either a trunk mount anchor or a window mount anchor. That's just gonna mount either into your trunk or to your window. It gives you a loop so you can wrap a cable lock through there and then around your bike and keep that secure to your roof. Again, all that is sold separately on our website. And with this back cradle, we do just have a hook and loop strap securing our wheel. You can see these straps are extra long to get those bigger tires on. With our smaller road bike, a little tip for you guys, what I do is fold it over, bring it over the top, and then secure it, just so that I don't have too much excess to play around with. Now, this cradle is gonna be able to hold bike tires up to three inches wide. We have this little slot for our road bikes right here, like you can see, just fits right in that slot. But it's also gonna be able to fit up to that three inch wide mountain bike tire that you might have. Now, when we take the bike off, we can go over some of the other features about this bike rack. And one of the things I like to show people is if you're still on the fence about these, this vacuum cup system, let's go ahead and let some air into our cups. So even if by some chance, some air gets let into your cup while you're driving, this thing's still not going anywhere. You can see I'm trying really hard to pull it off, push it back and forth, and it's not budging. So you know that if uh, air ever gets under there, all you have to do is stop, compress your pump cylinder again, just get it back to where it was. Now, as far as mounting this to your rooftop, there really is no set instructions. Uh, what I do wanna point out is that I always recommend kind of keeping it more towards the side like we talked about earlier, keeping it towards the frame of the vehicle that's gonna be where the most support is for your bike. And when it comes to mounting it, you really have a lot of options, whether it's glass or metal, rooftop doesn't matter, you can do either. And that also helps out for if you have multiple different vehicles, you're not limited to using it for just one of those vehicles. You can take it off, move it to the other one, or even if you buy a new vehicle, you don't have to worry about making sure it fits on there. I also wanna point out that these cups do have a really thick rubber construction. It's all rubber, so you're not gonna to have to worry about it scratching or harming your vehicle's rooftop. Now in your kit, you are gonna get this little bottle of multi-purpose lubricant. This is just for your pump maintenance. All you have to do is pull the pump cylinder out like that. Just put a little bit on the ends right there of all of your pump cylinders, maybe once a year. That's going to just keep them operating smoothly and extend the life of them. Now, over the years, if you continue to use this rack, you can see that cylinder just pops right back in. You are going to also get an extra pump cylinder that you can replace in case one of them should fail over time. Let's go ahead and take a look at it on our test course. Up first is going to be our slalom, which is going to simulate side-to-side -side action, like evasive maneuvering or taking a sharp turn. And now our alternating speed bumps, which is going to simulate driving over uneven pavement like potholes. Now we're on to the solid speed bumps, which is going to simulate the up and down action like going over a speed bump or pulling into your driveway. Now when not in use, uh, Sea Sucker does recommend removing this bike rack from your roof for a couple of different reasons. One being it's the best theft deterrent. So at this point, there's really nothing stopping someone from coming up and removing the cups and then walking off with your bike rack. So like I said, just best theft deterrent. The other thing is that it's going to help hold the shape of your cups better if you remove it when it's not in use. So you can see right here when our cups are sealed down onto our roof, they're much flatter. They're taking a different shape. And when you let air in, it kind of comes back up and expands up. So you don't want to leave it installed for a long period of time and just keep it on your roof because eventually the cups will form down to this flatter shape that you see right there. So to help out with making sure your cups last a lot longer, 
they include some white caps we can put on them for storage purposes. So we remove it from here, we can sew it in our garage, we can put it in the back of our vehicle. And like I was talking about with these white caps, what they're gonna do right here is just go over top of the vacuum cup and it's gonna help keep that dome type shape that the cups already have. So it's just gonna help keep the cups around for a much longer time so you don't have to worry about replacing them. And again, this is more for storage purposes. I definitely don't think you need to put these, put these caps on if you're just taking off your bike rack just to go for a bike ride and you can come back and throw it right back on. At that point, you can leave the caps off. All in all, I think it's just a very nice and simple bike rack. It does solve a lot of problems with no vehicle roof rack fits or not wanting to put a hitch on your vehicle or anything like that. It keeps a nice clean look on your vehicle, especially for a Tesla right here. We definitely want to make sure it looks nice when we're not using a bike rack. Well, thank you all for watching and I hope this information helped you out, but that'll do it for our look at the Seasucker Talon roof bike rack.